this is combination with she beast motivation and i just want to kind of explain what this channel is because i don't want the name to get everything confused so i didn't actually come up with the name she beast my spouse came up with the name she beast and um it's because he always says that I go into beast mode about everything or I pull something deep up out of me. Like when my back is against the wall, that's when the beast come out. Or when I'm working out, like I push myself to that extra level. I start screaming at myself like, come on, you got one more. You come on, beast up. And, you know, he just be like, you're, you're some kind of she beast. You know what I'm saying? And the she beast it just i loved it I've, I've had a couple of businesses and well i've had several businesses and my names that i've had for my businesses have been great but i think like she beats i want it to be like a brand name like a lifestyle brand because i believe like if i could get people to beast up no matter what like not to fall like when you think you had your last hope your last moment when you think you don't have anything else in you like just be stuff and get it like it's just a different like oh like you just like you just gotta be stuff sometimes like i can't explain it like you gotta do it for you you know what i'm saying so this this youtube channel will have a lot of motivational stuff definitely a lot of like business building stuff everything for my women i mean and it's not just for black women it's for white women it's for caucasian it's for asian women it's for i don't care where you from it's for women and hell if some men can tune in to kind of understand where we're coming from and all the shit we got going on even better like i'm not against anything like i'm not saying no man can watch this but i do it for my women but hell i have i'm gonna have a lot of stuff about building your businesses building your brand marketing yourself believing in yourself fighting through becoming a millionaire becoming rich successful becoming independent standing your own ground you know just not being a pushover, how to be a strong spouse, how to be independently strong, how to be mentally strong, like how to be a great mother, like it's gonna have everything. I have workouts for me um, that I've been doing that people just think I'm the finest thing, but I'm, I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll show you my workout. So it's just gonna be a real good thing, but it's, it's about that girl that want it all. It's about that girl that's tired of like sitting back and saying, okay, I'm good okay i'm okay like no it's that girl that's gonna be stuff she beats and i love the lord i'm a christian i'm saved and i got to throw that out there because if y'all don't know what saved is hey if nothing else let's talk about that one time save mean that you believe that god is the father he had a son through marriage, his name was Jesus. She was a virgin. That's not what saved me, and I'm just telling you the whole story. She was a virgin, and Jesus was sent here to save the world. He died for our sins. He was in a tomb for three days. He rose. So, that's the part that, that makes you say the belief. All you have to do is believe that Jesus rose from the dead because he died for our sins. He didn't have to be on that cross. He didn't have to stay up there. He was Jesus. He didn't have to do none of that. But once he understood why he was up there, once God explained him why he was up there, that he was dying for our sins so our sins could be forgiven, so we could have eternal life if we just believe in him, then that's what that is. Eternal life means that when we leave from here, we go to heaven and relax, honey. And that's what I believe in. That's where I come from. Uh, my denomination is Baptist, but I'm really starting to kind of stray away from that. I just love the Lord. But Baptist versus anything else just means like Baptist means you're baptized, you're dipped in water. Um, Catholic is, is, is also a religion, but um, they don't really focus on Jesus. They focus on the Virgin Mary. So, you know, they're not baptized like that. They're Christian. Um really don't know that much about muslims um and uh let's just talk about christian religions pentecostal you're not dipped in water 
uh, method is you're not dipped in water. I think you're just kind of, uh, method is you might be dipped in water. I don't know. Let me just stick to my religion. I don't know. I just want, I just kind of try to explain because some of them are so close and believe in the same thing. It's like the only difference is the way you're baptized because we had John the Baptist who baptized people in the river in the Bible days and he even baptized Jesus. So, that was to show us how important and when we're baptized and dipped in water that means that we're accepting god as our personal savior when we go down we're ourselves. when we come back up we're born again and we're born into this new christian life that is beautiful wonderful still full of strife still full of struggle but what you do have is a faith and a, a trinity father god Father God, the Holy Spirit, um, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, I'm sorry. And you just have a connection to God that you're aware of now, that you're conscious of. And you just want to do the right thing. And you believe that Jesus is alive. You believe that he died for your sins. And that's why as Christians, we're taught to love. We're taught to forgive. We're taught to be honest and we're taught to not hurt and we're taught that our sins are forgiven so we shouldn't as christians be walking around with like condemnation and oh my god i sinned yesterday like if you're a christian and you sinned yesterday you ask for forgiveness and that's it because jesus died for that so there's no need to like relive that and that's what i love so much about my religion and my faith is that all I have to do is ask for forgiveness. You know, now it does say repent. This video has turned into a whole nother thing, but that's okay. I'm going to go with it. Um, it does say to repent in the Bible, which means that you don't want to keep doing the same thing. So if you're, if you steal and you keep stealing, you keep stealing, you keep stealing, you keep asking for forgiveness, like, yeah, God forgive you. But at some point, like you got to be chastised because, or you have to, have some type of remorse or some type of discipline in you to say I can't keep asking for him to forgive me and I know I'm doing wrong like ask him to forgive you and then try your best not to do it again no one's perfect you might do it again you might lie again you might cheat again you might create some type of sin again but the point is that you try not to do it but if you do do it ask for forgiveness and you're good there's no reason to like try to kill yourself there's no reason for you to try to make it right um karma no one's trying to even deal with that word like we're good so i want to stress who i am as far as a as a christian because a lot of the stuff that i reference in my channel um will be christian based it will be backed up with biblical principles it will have word in it but 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 there's something i'm working on okay i swear I curse very intelligent don't know why I do it's probably I don't want to blame it on culture because I come from real articulate people and um, yeah I got a master's degree and well I'm getting a master's degree in <laughs> English and literature and um, I don't know I just cuss but I'm the chick that'll be like, let's quote a Bible verse and then might cuss after it. So, and the Bible does say that, I want to get it right. Good and evil can't come from the same tree. And it also says that about the mouth, like good and evil. But it's a, it's a specific, I wish I had my phone. It's a specific verse and I'll, and I'll put that verse under the youtube thing but it's kind of saying that good and evil can't come out your mouth you know what i'm saying so it can be confusing to people and i know it's something i need to work on because it's in the bible so if i cuss or if i swear or if i'm like bitch or that nigga stuff i shouldn't be definitely shouldn't be saying in the world we live in as i wear my black lives matters earrings but Whatever I say that's kind of like, oh, what is, she, what is she doing? What is she talking about? She just was trying to save somebody's soul. Like, look, I'm just coming to you as I am because I just want to keep it real. And sometimes for me to keep it real, 
Like, I just have to say how how it comes to me. I'm working on it. I don't want my message not to reach people because I am swearing, but I do swear. Now, I'm not a sailor. I'm not cussing every five minutes, but sometimes if I just got to, I feel like getting my point across, I just got to swell. But I'm working on it. And I, I hope by like the 85th video i'm not swearing no more like that is my goal not to swear like i'm very articulate i think i'm very funny i think i am very descriptive and i don't know why i cuss but i do so i don't want that to throw you off um i just went on that rant because i just wanted to give y'all some background about me and pretty much introduce you to my channel a little late i probably should have did this like the first video but I didn't, and so I just want y'all to know who I am. And that's it, like, that's it. I'm just here to motivate you. I'm just here to tell you you can do whatever you want to do. I'm just here to give you that strength to get up. I'm here for the cancer patient that's in bed that says she can't do it no more. I'm here to tell you that you will be healed. You can do it. This is a test. This is, I don't even like to use the word test, but this is an experience for you to know who you are. Like that single mother, the, the abused woman, the ignored employee, the 50 year old GED student. Like I'm here for y'all. I'm here for y'all. I'm here for the ones that's been counted out. Or the ones that's been counting in and they don't even know what's really going on on the inside. I'm here for everybody who need a real word. I'm here for confirmation that you ain't crazy. And that if the situation, if it look like a duck and quack like a duck and walk like a duck and yellow is not a turtle, it's a duck. So, yeah, I'm her. And that's pretty much it. So I hope I didn't rant too much. I hope y'all have a little bit more understanding about what this channel is. Um, that's it. And I just can't wait to see like what this turns into because I'm excited. I'm excited to be me and say how I want to say it and do what I want to do. I'm excited and I want everybody else to be excited like that. All right.